Good evening. So my talk will be uh, more clinical, despite the high technology inside this machine. Uh, we have the CZT D670 uh, since uh, almost one year. Uh, my talk will show two different image or class of image from these systems, as the system has been upgraded or switched to what can be called the second generation of the systems two months ago. So once uh, I have to, to, to mention for some of the images that are coming from the, the new generation, and some of them are coming for the machine as it was installed in July uh, 2016. Nuclear medicine, conventional nuclear medicine is far from dead. 65, 75% uh, of 30 million procedures are still doing, uh, making with conventional nuclear medicine. Its uh, availability is very, uh, no, very well known, and it's also cost effective. And you know, in, even in, at least in, in Europe and in France in particular, the cost effectiveness is very important now. Because uh, not, not everybody and uh, not every social security system can afford more and more expensive uh, procedures. We, we work with hybrid imaging since 15 years, and definitively the way of nuclear medicine works is hybrid imaging. And we'll use full hybrid imaging with this system. Now we have, uh, as has been shown on the, the video, the new CZT technology on this uh, camera. So I will go very briefly on the, the, the detector physics and characteristics, as uh, everybody knows already uh, this, this part. Um, we have, uh, of course, a pixelated de detector which, with registered collimation and a collimation, a detector uh, resolution of about 2.8 millimeter. And which did this with the detector? We have a 40% uh, contrast to nose increase, which is very important for uh, spec CT or for, for spec uh, data. We have again, uh, also a 6.3% 6 energy resolution, resolution, which is important to increase the contrast as well, reducing the, the Compton contribution, and also making easier and better dual isotope imaging. We have also a very interesting, uh, interesting design, uh, which permits, uh, there is a small detector frame, which is very uh, useful for, for patients, especially for, for children, but also for brain uh, image. All the image I will show you, and the study we, and we show you are making with conventional AINM procedures. So regular uh, acquisition time and also uh, regular dose. But uh, we use the Lister, as can be shown here, which is able, able which allow us to reframe the data. And when I present uh, shorter acquisition time, in fact, it's simulated reframe uh, shorter acquisition time by using this, uh, this software. This allows us to compare simulated data from the original acquisition and reduce acquisition. We can also, with the Lister, play and have and adapt protocols with different windows, energy windows, and usually very sh smaller, or narrow windows of energy to increase the contrast. Just to mention where the system is uh, installed, the system is, in, is installed in one of the four sites of the nuclear medicine department in Lyon, uh, which is the group east, east of the hospital. And this, this hospital, uh, this group, is composed of a neurological hospital, a cardiological hospital, and a woman and child hospital. Therefore, the, the CZT perform more imaging dedicated to this patient. Uh, in the center of the image, you see the nuclear medicine department. Here is my staff from the East Group of the nuclear medicine department. And what's thing very important, uh, I think, uh, that practically we use this the system near after 11 months, nine months with the uh, original system and uh, two, two months with the second generation. And all these images have been acquired on a routine machine 
There is no, this is not a research machine. The machine works normally, regularly in the routine. And this is very important. And the staff is very pleased with this uh, system. As you can see, for the first images we, we have then, so this is not the patient, but a technologist, but we simulate just the position of the patient. The, and this is very comfortable for, due to the frame of the detector. It's very comfortable to sit the, cl close to the, to the detector and put the hand on, uh, directly on the collimator. And you, you can see uh, the, the image of the angiosyntigraphy of the hand which uh, demonstrate uh, the, the resolution of the, of the camera. We can use this camera with the, we have no uh, uh, double energy or Compton subtracting window. We use with a single window, a very a narrow window with a minus 5.5 5 and plus 75, 10.5. And this is an acquisition of uh, uh, 10 seconds per frames for 30 frames, so around eight minutes acquisition on a, a, young, a, a young girl with, with low back pain. And nobody can find the origin of this back pain till the nuclear medicine procedures. And we perform also, when we look at this uh, uh, hyperfixation in the L5 uh, left, we perform the CT on this uh, uh, vertebral column, which we usually do not on, on children. And you can, as you can see, uh, there is a clearly depiction of the, the hot spot here, and you can see on the condensed uh, vertebra, which was a, a sign of the ischemic lysis of this, uh, uh, of this uh, vertebra, which is uh, very well depicted and exactly where the hot spot is located, where, where is the, the, the fusion of the image was perfect. Regarding pediatric study, we have uh, children and small children, which uh, this, this detector is uh, comfortable for the children. And the quality of the image is such that even without uh, pinhole, we, we are able to, uh, to, to de demonstrate an iliac osteomyelitis here uh, on, the, on the left hip. What about uh, FASPEC? FASPEC is a, an old history, and a lot of people try to make FASPEC and because of the, the workflow. Um, we, we, we want to change the, the workflow of our routine uh, procedures to, to increase the, the number of uh, spec studies and maybe to replace it, the, the planar study, completely by spec study. So this is not uh, easy to do, and we try and to be, we begin with, uh, with the knee, with uh, uh, even for the extremities, which are easier to make a fast bone spec. And this is uh, on the left side, you see an uh, eight-minute spec with a uh, spec CT on the upper part of the slides. And if you look on the right part, the bottoms of the slides, you have uh, uh, a two minutes, 30 seconds spec, uh, which gives you the same information of this uh, pathology of the right patella and uh, uh, an osteochondrites of the, of the knee. Uh, and you see also that uh, there is no difference in the image between the eight minute spec and the two minutes 30 second spec. But then what about the other part of the body? Then we have uh, uh, in, in during, uh, I mean, September uh, 2016 and December uh, 2016 with the first generation of the detector, we made uh, a study with three nuclear uh, medicine physicians on uh, 80 patients. And we score, uh, after reformatting the data um, the, with the original acquisition, a 30 second by step, then 10 second by step, five and three second by step. And we ask them to grade uh, the quality of the scan by three to one or less. And the one is the limit, inferior limit uh, for the, the detection, which allow only one for 679 scan, only one uh, lesion not detectable. And this is the partial uh, result we, we, I can show because the data the, are already submitted to publication. And you see that for the, this first generation detectors uh, system, that the limit has been set to five seconds per step, but with the new detector and the new generation, 
we, we have uh, more than 40, 50 percent counts more. And really, it would sure that we can go back down to uh, uh, 30 seconds or 30 or 4 seconds by step. Let's say with the second generation uh, uh, detector, uh, all body and all body scan from 50 minutes on the, the left, which is the normal acquisition, and then can be ref reframed uh, using the lister to eight, five, and three minutes. Again, we want not to use it as a diagnostic, uh, the three minute scan as a diagnostic real uh, bone scan for the moment, but we want to include it in the whole spec, uh, spec CT uh, uh, examination as a first scout uh, of the patient. So for the moment, we, we do not have enough data to demonstrate scientifically that uh, we can use the five minute or even the three minute bone scan for diagnosis. But what is sure that the five minute bone scan is of good quality. So the, the, the true is probably between five and four, three minutes. So what about all body spec? Again, in my department, what I've noticed is that we lose a lot of time during the investigation. And a lot of time is lost, is lost just because the technologists, they have to ask the MD, do you want a spec, do you want a spec CT on what part of the, day on the, on the patient? And, and in fact, if we can make a, a spec CT, a whole body spec CT in 30 minutes or 25 minutes, I will, I will have a better workflow and the patient have everything they need. So we try to reach this goal, uh, and we, we are already in the, in the range, uh, all, all, again, using the lister. So the patient, for the moment, has still the conventional uh, uh, acquisition. But we reframe the data up to 15, 16 to 20 minutes for the whole, uh, whole, uh, whole acquisition, let's say, for a, a rapid bone, planar bone, whole body bone scan. And four segment or four field of view uh, uh, spec CT. Spec or spec CT if needed. Here is a, a case of um, a patient with uh, uh, 73 years old with a, a, a solid cancer. And you see that there, there is uh, not only uh, the cancer which, which was known on the, the vertebra, but also there is a metastasis in the femur. There's another uh, image of this uh, uh, strategy, uh, all body uh, spect with uh, four or five field of view with the, the scanner, and the registration is still very good. The old scan is uh, around 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Here in the case, the case uh, of uh, the search of a bone metastasis in a 73 year old uh, patient with cervical uh, lesion. So, Talking about uh, brain, so as I mentioned already, we have a neurological hospital just nearby, and um, the number of uh, brain scan is around 1,000. So it's quite a heavy routine for us, and for the 1,000 uh, investigation, there are already 400 that scan. And you see, with the frame, we can decrease the, the radius of rotation till 15 to, to 11 centimeters, which increase the quality of the image. This is one of the uh, image from the third generation of the, the machine. And um, this is a, a spec, a brain spec HMPAO from a, a young lady, which is uh, young, still young, 40 years old, and which is uh, unfortunately uh, uh, begin blindness for a posterior cortical atrophy. As you can see uh, on the the right part of the uh, occipital, temporo-occipital region, which is already uh, decreased. And at that time, there was no morphological abnormality. Let's say with the second, uh, here, with the second generation of the, of the camera, you, we have already, again, an increase of the quality of the image, uh, running for 30 seconds by step, which is the regular acquisition, 25 minutes, uh, to 20 seconds by step or even 10 seconds by step, which is still diagnosis. But you see the quality of the image. These are native 2.545 uh, size pixel and slice thickness too. 
you can compare the, on, one, on few patients the FDG uh, PET uh, with uh, MCT from uh, cement and, uh, and the HMPAO on the CZT camera. Alors, this is not to say that we have the same image and the same quality and the same resolution, because this is obviously this is not, uh, this is not the case, but the diagnostic value is the same. We can have a better uh, dual isotope image, and you see on the, this image from the second generation detector, uh, we have very good signal to noise ratio on the DAT scan, and with a clear separation between the codate and the uh, nuc and the putamen, and again in the simultaneously a very good uh, HMPO image. And to finish this uh, short presentation, we use also uh, uh, this camera for lung scintigraphy, the isotope with Krypton. And this is true, and we have mentioned in 2G at the beginning, uh, we have a too uh, low efficiency for the Krypton uh, at the time. And this, this image uh, are from the second generation, which is not uh, enough efficient to, to work in clinical practice. And these images are quite uh, good. I think, and we can use them in the so-called uh, uh, software from uh, Culon, from, the, from G, uh, to make a, a semi-quantitative analysis of the, of the lung. The, this image and this data are very well appreciated by our surgeon, and we have more and more uh, demand of this investigation. So just to summarize, after 10 months and more than 2,000 scans, uh, the camera is, is friendly, both for patient and tech. We have very good performances, even with the third generation for pediatric, bone and kidney. I don't show any kidney image, but we have some. Um, there, is, there is excellent for low energy, but that was not so excellent for, at least for, uh, not optimal for uh, medium energy. So now we have a very good uh, image from, uh, from uh, Krypton or even for, for lutetium. We will uh, go through the cardiac study. I don't speak about cardiac because uh, we make a lot of cardiac stress tests, but on this 530, so the special ded dedicated cardiac camera. And uh, we prefer to focus first on what the camera in routine uh, has to do. Let's say uh, uh, brain or uh, uh, lung and, and bone. And we will do now a, a cardiac study for, uh, to compare to this 530 and also to continue to, to confirm that uh, and to prove then that we can do all body specs in uh, half uh, an hour. I want to, to mention that we have excellent support from the General Electric Company. Uh, the, the company and the, the engineer and the research department, uh, including also the marketing staff and uh, engineer in France, were uh, very reactive to our uh, comments on the camera. Uh, especially after uh, the ANM, where uh, we mentioned that we need more counts than we, we have to, 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 uh, to achieve our goals. And we, we also want, I also want to, to, to thank all the nuclear medicine department and the staff, uh, which collaborated uh, very, very uh, friendly and very efficiently on this project. Thank you very much.